Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today or this evening or whenever you're watching this video, man. How are you all doing? Good? Sweet. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video, where I'm going to be talking about two things today. One being strikers. Chelsea won a striker, right? They've looked at people like Moussa Dembele, and a price tag has recently been slapped on him, which is just going to make you feel ill. <laughs> and also, the potential real release clause of Timo Werner has been released as well, which is just mental. So the strikers, and also I want to talk about the left back position. Marcus Alonso's dad has been talking about how he could be out the door in the summer. Just after I've recently been saying, you know what, we should keep Marcus Alonso. Keep him as a left wing back, sell Emerson, replace the left back position. <laughs> just as I'm coming round, there's links away. Football media, eh? First they give off, then they take off away. Anyway, some really interesting talking points and stuff I want to voice to you guys, the viewer. But before we do get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, One Football. Mm, mm, mm. One Football. If you're like me who loves football, well, everyone loves football, right? You want updates on the game, scores, fixtures, statistics, news, and media, etc. You should check out the platform, One Football, the consolidated thing that gives you all the good gear, whether it be Chelsea or football, or just whatever. Get the app, check out the website. It's all superb. I've put a link in the top of the description, so do go have a look. Right then, let's get into it. So, where should we start? Let's start with strikers, why not? Bruno Lamps was absolutely calling out, crying out for a centre forward, a goal scorer in the January transfer window, one that he did not get. It does look like Michy Batshuayi, although he has these wonderful little moments, and he's a very mobile, athletic striker. It's just not going to work now, is it? Giroud obviously seems like he will have a place before the end of the season, which afterwards he, he will go. But yeah, that's good that Giroud can offer something to help Tammy Abraham. But it looks like Chelsea will need at least one striker in the summer. Maybe they promote a youth player to help as a third striker, but they certainly need another starting level striker. There have been a few strikers linked with Chelsea over the last few months. Obviously, Chelsea scout a lot of centre-forwards at the same time. But obviously a big, big name that's come up a few times is of course Moussa Dembele. Heavily linked with both Chelsea Football Club and Manchester United, the league R striker playing for Lyon has had a pretty darn good season. He's probably scoring a goal every other game. And for that side, that's a pretty good return. He's young, he's like 23. And he's already got experience in English football playing in the Premier League for Fulham. He played for Celtic. He's a good player. Chelsea did try and sign him this January. They bid £40 million pounds for the centre forward that Leon absolutely waved away. They said, look, no one's buying him this January. He himself came out and said, look, I'm staying at the club until the summer at least, pretty much indicating that he's going to go in the summer. And since the club actually has come out and said, look, we're going to bring people in the summer and we're going to have to sell some people who don't want to be here, reading between the lines saying, yes, we're going to make loads of money off Moussa and Bele, bring in like strength in the squad. We're basically going to sell him and it's not going to be for cheap. And when I say not for cheap, reports have come out today that the price tag <laughs> Wait for it. The price tag for Moussa Dembele. Hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm going to put it in the thumbnail. It's £83 million. Pounds. Right, so I maintain Moussa Dembele would be a really, really good signing for Chelsea Football Club because it would be the perfect profile of striker to bring in. Probably would cost around £40, £45 million, pounds, which is a lot but it's enough to be a player who can rotate with Tammy Abraham, not immediately undermine his position as the number nine at Chelsea because he's not a superstar name. That would cost, say, I don't know, north of 80 million pounds. And they're all the reasons why he'd be a really good signing for Chelsea. But no, if this report is to be believed that's rotating around the media this morning, oh my God, go away. 83 million pounds for a striker that's okay and promising and not really like, doing elite returns. It's just a nonsense. If Man United want to pay £83 million for Moussa Dembele, good luck to them. I would be incredibly <laughs> disappointed with Chelsea if Chelsea break their transfer record for this player. No disrespect to him, I think he'd be a good squad rotational player that could challenge for the first striker spot, but <clears throat> if this prize is to be believed, then it's just a madness. Let Man United buy him. Jesus. Ugh. Right, let's <laughs> take a look at another striker in Europe. Timo Werner. Timo Werner has obviously exploded. He's the same age as Dembele, I think, roughly. 
just absolutely a goal machine. He hasn't played so much as a dedicated centre forward. He can play a lot down the middle, but he often plays on the flank. And to be honest, Chelsea should be looking at someone who's just down the middle and does his best work down the middle because we've got good wingers. We're looking to buy more good wingers. Do you know what I mean? So a proper number nine would suit Chelsea more. Not that, obviously, if you get, if you can get Timo Werner, you get him. Do you know what I mean? So, reports coming out of Germany today that indeed the release clause for Timo Werner was, or is, what was originally assumed. Not 50 or 60 million pounds, which obviously would still be a snip for that quality of player, but 25 million pounds. 25 million pound release clause. 10 million less than Danny Drinkwater for, you know, the second, maybe he's like behind Lewandowski, the most informed striker, but obviously 10 years younger, so he's gonna be the hottest striker property in world football for 25 million pounds. Now, I don't know how Leipzig would deal with this if they'd have to just honor that release clause or if there'd be a deal struck with someone where somehow they make more money, but that's absolutely insane if true. Sounds great, right? Here's the problem. Obviously, he's been heavily linked to Chelsea and Liverpool, but the fact remains, he probably wants to go to Liverpool. He has been twerking for Liverpool. He's recently come out and said, oh yeah, Liverpool are the best team in the world. It's honored to be linked with them, but I need to get better. But pretty much, not in exact words, but he's pretty much saying, I want to improve before I join Liverpool. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> now, what does this mean? Are Chelsea completely out of the running to sign him? Probably. <laughs> But the fact remains, he's just stating facts, man. Liverpool are the best team in the world at the moment, in my opinion. I mean, yes, you could say they get the rub of the green decisions, but the fact is they win. All they know is how to win. That's what makes them the best. So if someone says, look, Yen, you're a footballer, you've been linked to Liverpool, I'm not going to be like, well, I'm a Chelsea fan. I don't want to go to Liverpool. I'm thinking in my career, like, Liverpool are the best team in the world. That's superb that I've been linked with them. Whatever. Truth is, he's going to have a trouble dislodging Firmino, such an important player to them. And remember how Firmino plays. He's the quintessential false nine. He's not like Timo Werner whatsoever. But at the end of the day, if Timo Werner is going to come in and replace Mohamed Salah or Mane or someone, play on the w flank and just score loads of goals like he's doing for RB Leipzig, I get it. 25 million for Liverpool, another piece of superb, amazing business if they get him. But boy, oh boy, what a contrast from Moussa Dembele's apparent price tag. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully Chelsea pluck a complete unknown gem out of the ether in Europe in the summer and he scores loads of goals and he only costs us 10 million pounds. <laughs> right, let's talk about left backs. Marcus Alonso, like I said, came in, had a very good performance at left wing back for Chelsea against Tottenham Hotspur. Granted, he was given space as they played quite negatively Tottenham, but he played in some wonderful balls. He's got a sweet left foot. Yeah, a lovely ball on his right foot. He hit the crossbar with his left foot on a free kick. He can steal in the air. He can poach goals. He can score goals. He just can't defend or track back. So as a left wing back, he makes a lot of sense. Good option to have, probably, although Emerson started the season very well, it doesn't look like he can play the left back role under Lampard, so Chelsea by a top tier left back. It would be good to keep Alonso, sell Emerson, in theory, right? Well, yeah, wrong, apparently. <laughs> There's a chance he might go. Marcus Alonso's dad was interviewed and he was talking about his time in Syria, Marcos's time in Syria, saying he loved it, Fiorentina, superb, da 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 da, and he might go back in the summer. Now, Marcus Alonso's 29, it'd be a good age to sell him, he's probably got a bit of value still, Chelsea would certainly make their money back, and although he'd be an interesting utility player to have, Chelsea could probably get a younger player to replace him. Again, maybe promote someone from the academy, buy a left back, still can play as Piloqueta there. I don't know, but it would be a loss, I think, because of what he offers. But to be honest, he might have one more good season in him in the Premier League, say 30 years old, can squeeze one good. Because, you know, it's a quite a demanding role in playing on the flank. Not that he's ever had any pace to lose, but, you know. Obviously, Ben Chilwell's the big name that's been rotated round for Chelsea, but to be honest, man, I'm losing faith in Ben Chilwell, and especially in how much money he'd demand. I mean, it's not £83 million for Moussa and Bele crazy, but it could be up there and near about. So I'm really interested to see what happens in the left-back situation. Chelsea do need to buy a left-back. I maintain that. I mean, that seems to be one of the biggest problem positions for Chelsea. Left-back, striker, right-winger, centre-back. But in fairness, it's kind of not quite as old as Giroud, but if he's turning 30, his engine's poor anyway. I kind of get it. I'm looking at the player profile and thinking, oh, left wing back should keep him, maybe. But if I'm being completely rational, I get selling him. Um, and then maybe, what does Chelsea do? Do they sell both their left backs? I mean, Emerson's going to be livid to get no time whatsoever. 
So it's going to be an interesting one, really, I think. I mean, we all know Emerson's got good performances in him, and maybe when Ruben Loftus-Cheek starts playing in the middle left flank, they can combine well again. But to be honest, I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you think if Chelsea sell Alonso, they should sell Emerson as well, or keep him, or try and convert him into a left wing back? What's happening? Anyway, swing by football therapy every single day. I'll keep you guys posted with what's happening in the Chelsea news. Remember to get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in today's video. I'm keen and interested to read that. If you have enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. That means a lot. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you are indeed new to the channel. Come follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby